wonder. I see two The CRA model stands for a concrete, representational, and abstract. It's a model that we use in the mathematics teaching to help students gain a better understanding, starting at the bottom with foundational skills, and throughout each stage, they gain a better knowledge toward the concept that they're working on. The importance for using the model is we start with students at the concrete level, which is the doing aspect of it, where they actually take manipulatives, hands-on things, they use counters, they'll use 10 frames, anything to help them understand and, and get an idea of what they're doing. If it's subtraction, they'll actually take away the items. Addition, they're adding the items. They're building the fractions and understanding that piece. With the representational, then they move those pieces to something they can put on the paper. How can they draw a picture of what they used, actually touching the manipulatives? And then lastly, we try to move them from that paper representation to the abstract, where they're actually doing the math. In class, I'm learning about patterns and increasing patterns, which is another word for growing patterns. We get to use lots of colors, shapes, letters to make patterns, and it helps me if I make mistakes, that it'll help me if you figure it out so I can do it over again. In middle school, we start with plotting coordinates on the coordinate plane, and then we determine the rise over run, which is the slope for a graph. Our students, they are learning how to write an equation for a linear function using the form y equals mx plus b. And with the CRA model, we're using GeoBoard so they can have a visual representation of what they're actually doing, which is determining the slope. In the CRA model, I'm learning slopes, uh, coordinate planes, and how to plot the numbers on the coordinate plane. My colleagues and I collaborate, so we usually plan with a week or maybe two weeks in advance. We talk about different things, diff different misconceptions that our students may have, and work those things out. When I go into high school I, or to college, I plan on using math to my advantage because it's kind of one of my strengths. 